Hey guys, I'm Sean Murphy. I'm a realtor up in Colorado, and this video is different. We are highlighting a disc golf course in Conifer, Colorado. This is somewhere in Colorado, and we're not only helping you find your somewhere in Colorado if you're looking to move out here, but we just want to show you cool places to visit while you're in the area. Hey, today we are breaking out of the front range, heading up to the foothills of Colorado, down 285, heading to Conifer, Colorado, for one of the premier disc golf courses in the country. Beaver Ranch Disc Golf Course is ranked number 11 best disc golf course on the planet, people, in 2021. So that is exactly why this is getting a special shout out and a standalone video on our channel. I love this course because it is a perfect mix of challenging terrain, well-maintained tee boxes, and plenty of shade for those hot summer days. To get to the course, you're going to drive about 40 minutes outside of the city of Denver into the Rocky Mountains. Heading up 285, it is a two-lane, beautiful drive. At first through the canyon, then it opens up as you pass Aspen Park and Conifer, and you're going to exit at the Kennedy Gulch Road exit. It comes up pretty fast, so just stay in that right lane as you get past Aspen Park. Just about a minute off the highway, you'll find yourself entering the park. Summer hours, they're open every day, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. In the winter, they're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, and then Sunday, 9 to 5, because it does get dark sooner in the mountains. So unlike a lot of disc golf courses, this one you do have to pay to play, but it is worth it. It's just $12 for a day pass if you have a tea time, and $15 uh, dollars if you just want to walk on in. Dude, that thing looks sweet. Five dollars for kids 10 and under and kids under six years old play for free. However, I'd say any kid under 10 years old might have a tough time on the course, but that's just my opinion. Twenty dollars on it. Winner gets all. All right. I'm not a dad, and I don't know how freaking rad your kid may be, but this course is definitely not oh. stroller friendly, so I wouldn't bring the tots up with me. The premier course contains 62 buckets, easy, intermediate, and difficult positions on each hole, laid out oh. roughly 60 wow. acres. Wow, I can't do that. <laughs> it's gonna take you about two and a half hours to play this ah. course. All right, I got a chance at par here. There's also a second course with a putt and approach, has about 20 baskets laid out over 15 acres, and that one takes about 45 minutes to play. I actually didn't know about that course, but I'm guessing it's over here where we're warming up. There is a fully stocked pro shop trailer with friendly disc golf enthusiasts where you can check in, you can buy snacks, you can buy discs, you can buy gear, shirts, hats, stuff like that. They also have a course map that they'll give you and a scoring sheet. I recommend coming with a backpack, plenty of water, sunscreen, and snacks. I like to bring layers with me as well because the, the air is a little bit more crisp in the mountains and just in case it's a little bit overcast or windy, it's nice to have an extra layer. Me and my buddies always bring beers, but to be honest, like about halfway through, uh, your beers are warm or you've drank them and you're doing a lot of hiking. And so it takes a little bit more for even to feel those beers. So I typically feel like I burn straight through my beers, but it's nice just to have that counterweight in your opposite hand when you're throwing. Feeling that tree. Ha! I'm nine over. Travis is five. Woo! Fletch is 14. Oh, I'm tied with Tom. All right, all right, I'm right there. Oh! oh. Dogs are welcome too. Duh. This is Colorado, but bring your poop bags and bring a leash. Dogs must stay on a leash. And this course is super dog friendly because there are tons of shade for your canine companion. Whose dog is that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. You might say to yourself, Sean, are you wearing a wife beater for this video? Have you seen this Dane Cook tank top? This is intimidating. <laughs> yeah, baby. Sometimes I like to wear the wife beat and I don't even have a wife. It's like eating a club sandwich without having to pay membership dues. Sometimes the disc golf gods will punish you, and sometimes they will give you a dinger off the tree that puts you just where you need to be. Some of these shots are tough, not only because you need to thread the needle through a ton of these unforgiving pine trees, but the consequences for missing can be severe if your disc just floats down the hill. Uh, I like to put a max of six throws per hole just in case something gets out of hand and you completely shit the bed on one of the holes, you're not out of the game. It's not gonna win championships, Steph. Shit talking is super welcome and I highly encourage it. I'm so afraid of actually doing something to my shoulder, I just... <laughs> I hope that injury doesn't flare up. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a sad day when you have to change your mindset from I'm not going to win to I just don't want to lose. So Fletcher and I have a side bet for uh, whoever loses owes the other person who beats them 10 bucks. Then I automatically got two strokes on him. Oh, talking but, shit already. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a part three. I like to get my shit talking done early in the course because typically by hole six or seven, one of my friends that's noticeably better has already established a pretty good lead on me and it doesn't really have the same effect at that time. It's not looking good for me. I don't like the long downhill. Now that you guys are talking shit, they don't think I'm gonna make this for Bernie. That ain't no gimme, son. That ain't no gimme. All right, this is the last hole. Yep. All right, can we get an update? Yeah, updates. So you need to throw four? I need a four strokes. Four strokes. <laughs> <laughs> So who's going to win? Travis. For sure? Very much. As you can see, we aren't pros, but we're still having a whole lot of fun. Fletcher is just self-destructing. Oh! Ooh. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We don't do videos like this a whole bunch. We're typically running around doing neighborhood reviews because we're realtors and we're giving you an idea of where you should buy and live in Colorado. About to shut it down. All right, finishing up the day. We had first place, Travis. We got second, Seth Smith. Oh, damn. <laughs> almost broke my ankle. Tom, what place did you get third? I was fourth. That's why we do yoga. If you have questions about moving to Colorado, hit us up. And other than that, go check out this freaking course because it's awesome and it is a great way to uh, spend a Colorado afternoon. Love you. Bye.